And we're back with some more RimWorld on our 390 or so dupe challenge. I don't know. It, it's a lot. All right. We're going to be heading down here because this place is a nice place to settle. Well, I'll, I'll go over more of that in a bit. But for the time being, we do have a bit of a problem. We don't have enough food to get where we're going. It's... yeah, we're definitely going to win out. Also, we're carrying around a dead alpaca. I should probably drop that into our inventory considering it weighs 50 kilos. What's our speed? 29.5. And if we drop the alpaca... 36.9. Okay, that's a, a hell of a lot faster. We're going to wait until we run out of pemmican, then we'll switch to the lavish meals. And then we're going to have to settle down pretty soon after that because, well, we're running out of food. Well, that did not last long. Alright, let me change the food restrictions and we're going to get everyone to move to that tile right there. And once we're on that tile, we're going to settle down for a bit, grab some more food and recruit some more people. We need to start a recruitment drive right about now. We're going to send in Pika on their own to scout the site. Uh, if it's a good enough one, which they always are, we'll send in the rest of the colony after them. Plus, it doesn't drop all our junk on the ground where it starts to degrade instantly. This map tile is actually perfect for our needs. It's got a good selection of animals here or wildlife we can draw. We've got a bunch of alpacas and we've got three mega slots for meat and clothing. We've also got some buffaloes, boomalopes, wargs, and more importantly, we've got an ancient danger. And we're going to tap into Ancient Dangers for a different reason this round. We're going to go into these so that we can recruit people. There's a bunch of Ancients in here and we can recruit those Ancients and their resistance is usually quite low so it should make recruitment pretty fast. The more people we have the better. We don't have the weapons or equipment to take them on quite well so... Traps I think? Yeah we got a bunch of steel here. In fact we're very well experienced with this it should be fine even if our weaponry is... Well okay our armor is pretty substandard at the moment but I, I think we can manage this pretty safely. Let's just get ourselves up a little bit of a settlement for the night. Oh, and that table, that table is being lifted all the way from down here. There was a table in this room, we just yanked it and we're just going to bring it up straight away. That's one of the nice things about moving maps, you find tables everywhere. By the end of the first day we have, well, an awful barracks. We, we really need to build a statue or something at some point. We'll, we'll get around to that tomorrow. But I think it's okay, we started much later in the day than normal. Ooh, we can install the butcher's table. Hmm, actually, we're going to have to install all the cooking materials for tomorrow. We're running short on meals. It looks like our wolf knows how to feed itself. It just, it just chowed down on an entire rat. The entire corpse disappeared. Well, that definitely makes our lives easier. We don't even have to feed the damn thing. Training wise, well, we might want to keep on top of that. Uh, today, we're going to finish off our kitchen. Well, start the kitchen, get it finished, find an animal, butcher it up, and then start feeding ourselves. That's pretty much the go-to goal. After that, we might want to start doing some prep work on getting some steel laying down some traps and maybe some defensive traps for our base as well. We could get attacked at any time. Oh! Dear Lord, I completely forgotten again. No, no, no. Where is it? Storyteller settings. What were we thinking? Dear Lord, no. Randy Random. Have to go back. Yes. Using his fun. 500% just to make sure. We can't abandon our Lord and Saviour Randy. Let's hope he wasn't too angry that we left him alone for a while. He can be awful contrary. While they're busy chopping things up, we're going to have Jason come down here and pick a fight with this. Uh, mm, Mega's lost. Now the reason we're sending Jason is, well, they're fast. They have a movement speed of 5 because they're a jogger and we haven't given them any flak fest or anything like that that might potentially slow them down. The speed of a Mega's loss is 4.8, so if this thing does go Manhunter, we cannot run it. Oh, seriously? Your like, shooting skill is 10. You should be able to... 11 actually, you should be nailing that damn thing. Okay, after a few wounds as well, it's slowed it down even more. Ooh, yeah, that's perfect. You know what? We're going to head back to base. We'll let that thing follow us. It just saves us from carrying it back. And we'll have Jason head back up, get back to work, and then when that thing shows back up to pick a fight with us, we'll have all three of them mow it down nice and quick. That is a persistent mega slot. It's very slow right now as well. I think it's actually almost bled out. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Um, then I think we'll have... The Schweitzer come down here. Actually, no, finish that tree. <laughs> your, uh... Yeah, your plant skill is one. Your plant skill also one. And uh, we'll have you uh, join in, or was it... We'll have them finish off the, uh, the Mega Sloth, and then we should hopefully have more than enough food to keep us going for a while. In the meantime, Jason's going to get started on the steel, and Pika's just going to keep chopping the wood. We're going to need wood because we're going to need a stonecutter's bench to get some marble so we can make statues. We're also going to need that uh, statue table to actually... Or the sculpture table to make those statues and we're also going to need a garments table so that we can make garments we're going to need to get ourselves some dusters otherwise people are going to start getting cold and you know what we'll hold that open and why is this whole place surrounded in stone chunks we need to get rid of those by the end of the second night we're only well 
mildly in a bad position. We've got food coming in, so we're good on that front. We've got enough meals to keep us going for a while, thanks to the mega slot. Uh, we do have some more material we can use to make a few um, pieces of clothing. We've already started on a heavy fur duster. A couple more heavy fur dusters and it should solve all of those need warm clothes warnings. And then, oh, and then we can get started on mining this so that we can put down our traps. I think we're in a good position. In the middle of the night, some rare thrombos show up. Hell yeah. This, this is an opportunity and also an enormous risk. This one, however, has a movement speed of three. This one has a movement speed of five. This one has health conditions. That means if we anger this one, we can still outrun it and kite it down. This one, if we anger it, it might run us down and gore us with that horn. So I'm thinking we can pick a fight with that one if we can get them to spread out a bit. It's worth an awful lot of money, awful lot of meat, and it gives some really good hides as well. All right, I think we'll finish the last of the... Uh, go keep up the good job. We're going to need more meals, but yeah, we're going to finish off the last of those trees so we have a nice stockpile of wood. That stuff just tends to vanish, no matter what you do. Nope, oh, first mental break. Someone's gone a bit angry. Uh, Jason is not happy because, well, they're staying in an awful barracks. At the moment, I'm trying to plant some roses to fix that, but... Oh, great, this is going to be an awful lot of repairs, isn't it? Never mind, never mind. It's a minor mental break, I suppose, for the start. And once they've got catharsis, we'll have three days of nice, pleasant building behind, in front of us. We have managed to raise the barracks up to decent. That should hopefully prevent any further mental breaks. That'll also count towards their dining in here, so I think we'll be good for a while. Uh, tomorrow, we've got to finish mining out the last of the steel, start someone on making sculptures, and start making a bunch of traps over here. So, a nice sculpture or two made of marble should solve all of our problems. And oh my god, Emil just wandered in. Would you look at that tasty, tasty treat? Oh, look at that face. That's the face of lunch, all right. Uh, first thing in the morning, we'll go say hello to that face. Or, or that will come to us. Okay, that's, uh, that's fine. You know, I almost feel bad. It, it just wandered in and just lay down beside us. <laughs> Um, yeah, we'll, we'll maybe wait till it leaves the building before we start shooting. We don't want to get blood everywhere. Right now we have Pika grinding up some rocks to make some more marble blocks. We're going to use those to make a statue that should hopefully get rid of our morale problems. Uh, the Schweitzer is over here mining out the steel and Jason is harvesting some lunch. Ooh, 4.61. Didn't do enough damage. Jesus, actually, you did do a fair bit of damage. You took out, what, the body and the lung? Christ! Okay, that's actually some pretty good shooting you got going on there. Uh, with a speed of five. Damn. You know what? Uh, let's have a couple of more people help out with this. This thing's a little bit too zippy, if you ask me. Uh, Jason, head that direction. We can have one run around in circles, and the other one can shoot it while it's happening. Come on, just go down already. Well, that's going to be lunch. Well, at least for a few days. Uh, we did have to waste the last heavy fur we got on a bedroll after Jason smashed up the last one, but that's that's fine. Uh, we've got enough marble now we can make ourselves up a statue. This should make sure that any time we move somewhere, we at least have, well, we won't be moving very far. We should only have one or two more jumps to make before we get to our home place. All we do is clear all of these and we just make sure it uses marble blocks. We only want one Pika Mule for it and just drop it on the floor when you're done. Perfect. And uh, then I think we will suspend most of these. We don't need any more marble blocks for the time being. Hopefully Pika can get us a decent statue out, though. With Artistic 7, I'm not really holding out a lot of hope. All right, Randy must have heard me when I was talking about Mega Slots because now we've got a tame one. Um, great, I suppose. I don't know. I've never really played with Mega Slots before. They're vegetarians, right? I'm pretty sure they could eat pretty much anything, so... Yay? Vegetables, seeds, li live plants, meals, processed food, liquor. Okay, they can live on liquor too. Perfect. Uh, join the team, buddy. We'll, uh, we'll use you as your great melee blocker until you accidentally get killed by a centipede of some sort. Everyone's recreation was getting a little bit awkward to manage, so we threw down a chess table. And Pika, no, we don't want you doing that. We want you prioritizing that sculpture. Once that sculpture is done, we can get about uh, getting you to construct all these traps. We're only going to let Pika construct the traps because it's the only one with any decent construction skill at all. Let's really hope some of the ancients in here have decent construction skill and are preferably unconscious when we find them. If we have to shoot them dead, we, well, we're not going to get any recruits out of it, are we? Uh, let's, let's skip this forward a bit and see what, uh, ooh, see what our statue brings. Ten, nine, eh, whatever, you get it. What have we got? We have a normal sculpture. Okay, that'll do. The Peace Bear is an artwork of an abstract rendering of Torment. The subjects are in front of several brewers. Oh, no beer. I get it. I get it. 
that's just not great for you guys. I get it. There we go. Now, let's start up these traps again. This should hopefully allow us to take this out with... Let's just hope there's not a centipede in there. If there's a centipede in there, I'm going to be very annoyed. All right, let's see what happens first thing in the morning. After the statue installation, we now have a very impressive barracks. That should stop all those mood problems, especially when they come in for dinner and things like that. Oh, I nearly want to get rid of that marble floor, though, because it keeps dragging dirt in here no matter what we do, and there's not really much we can do about it for now. But we'll leave it there. I, I'm just not bothered taking it up. Uh, okay, now that that's done, actually, I think it's time we got uh, the Schweitzer to finish that duster. It's assuming they can. Yep, there they go. Perfect. That will give us a heavy fur duster, and I think we've got enough materials. How much? 154? Mm, not quite, but we should be able to get some more materials for another heavy duster soon enough. I just got to find us another mega sloth. Well, this excessive trap construction is going on, and it's only excessive, actually, if there's no me if there's no centipede in there, but I don't trust my luck, so I'm preparing just for the worst. Uh, we're getting Jason down here, too. Damn. Okay, he just straight up killed that one. That should give us more than enough heavy fur to complete another couple of dusters. And with that done, where does the duster go? Ah, we've got a good duster. You know what? That first one can go straight to Jason. Considering they're the ones bringing back all the bacon, they might as well have it. I can't believe it's been 21 days since we started this game already. We haven't really got an awful lot done. We've got this tiny little shack out here, but I suppose once we crack this open, we'll find out if it's all been worth it. We're going to put down a few rocks around here to try and corral them along the trap corridor. And then if there's any left alive after that, we'll hopefully drag them into what we need. Uh, we've got two more heavy for dusters queued up. And I think we might do another statue after this if we get a if we get some recruits. If we don't get some recruits, we probably should just grab some food and move on. Oh, resources wasted. That is fine. Come on, hurry up. That's damn. We are almost ready to go. I think once Pika finishes that trap, we'll kick it off. Yep, I think we're golden. Uh, let's set it up our trap or well our attack plan is very simple. It's pretty much an oldie bit of goodie. We shoot open the wall and then run the hell away. Hopefully, it throws them out across the traps. Of course, there could be nothing in here, and this might be a, a, a gross over-preparation, but you know what? Over-preparation is key, and, and gross caring for way too much about what could possibly happen is pretty much par for the course on RimWorld. And what do we have here, then? This was a total over-preparation. We have one Lancer, and that looks like a super weapon. That's a tornado generator. Oh, great. The one weapon that's so horribly horrific you don't want to use it on your own map tile in case you accidentally murder your own base. But we do have six ancient crypto sleep caskets. Hell yes. Hell yes. Um, run. In fact, everyone run. Let's just run back. This thing will kill itself on the traps in two seconds. We don't have to care too much. Yep, that was... Uh, okay, we overprepared way too much. But in my defense, the last time I opened one of these, the first thing to come out was a centipede and a bunch of other nasties. So uh, I'm, I'm not regretting anything there. Uh, let's put a door on this. Maybe put some light in here, and then we'll open the caskets. This way we can turn this into a prisoner room for recruitment. First things first, though, we will take that tornado generator and put it in a stockpile. I'd hate to think of one of the ancients waking up and deciding, hey, that looks like fun, I'll press that button and see what it does. Uh, also, that does give us one super weapon. It's always nice to have a super weapon in reserve. Uh, but I don't think there's... I've looked around and I don't think there's any other ancient dangers on this map. There is some nice things we should probably take with us, like there's some jade at one location. All right, I, I think we're ready to see if there's any prisoners in here worth capturing. And uh, let's just crack that open. And that's enough of that. Okay, then. How many of them are angry? You don't seem to be. Okay. Oh, wow. Perfect. Nine hours on you. You don't... Ooh, you can be also rescued. There's another one that can also be... You have purple hair? I didn't even know that was a thing. Crypto sleeps. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, um, we want all of them. In fact, as far as I can see, they're all friendly. We can just wander in there and... Hmm. Well, we're not going to try and forcibly recruit any. We don't need to, but oh, let me check the stats. Okay, having a quick look, we're going to... We're going to rescue them all. If we can rescue them, why not? Um, We don't have a lot of medicine, though, so it's going to be... Well, tending without medicine, so they might have a few problems. Also, we're going to take that chain shotgun with us. Bio-coated incendiary launcher? I don't know, maybe we can sell it. The rest of them are just going to walk away, and I am not going to attempt to stop them. I don't want to get into a fight with anyone. Uh, now, who's got the actual medical skill? I think it's the Schweitzer? Yeah, medical of four. Wow, our medical really, really sucks. Um, hmm... Give me a minute. We're going to have Jason clean the room, and then the moment the Schweitzer gets them over there, we're going to have them start tending. Uh, what's our what's our policy on prisoner tending, actually? 
while we're at it, we're going to strip these pawns down. If they do not stay with us, I'd like to have their gear. Uh, ooh, what type of armor is that? That's recon armor, which will not slow anyone down. I know someone who could do it's a recon armor. Yeah, I think I'm going to get them to force force them to wear it. Flash storm is over. No fires near us. That's all good. And the rest of them are all fleeing off the map. I'm not going to attempt to stop them fleeing. That would be bad. All right. Oh, wow. Would you just stop throwing up everywhere? Your medical tens are going to be absolutely horrendous. Uh, we're going to harvest some heal root. I probably should have done this earlier. Jesus, could you just stop throwing up? It's everywhere. This just... Please, for the love of God. And all that is holy, just stop throwing up on yourself. We're trying to tend to you here. Oh my god. Yeah, I really hope they don't become one of our colonists. After a hard day's work, we've managed to save three lives. Well, okay, we saved two lives. The third one was probably going to be fine. I don't know if they'll join us or not, but it would be really nice if a few of them would. Some extra labour right about now would be wonderful. And at the same time, I think we're going to have to get them... Well, we're going to have to make them some beds. We're going to have to get more food in, but hey, fine by me. Oh, and they also had marine armour, so at least two of our people are getting decently armoured. In fact, I think we'll give that to... Uh, Hmm, we kind of do need uh, the Schweitzer to stay alive still. Unless someone joins us, they're still our most, uh, they have most of the skills, side skills we're going to need. Though at the same time, if we do lose Pika, we lose our one person at recruitment. Hmm. So after that rather anticlimactic raid, we've got uh, three people who may or may not join us. I'm not ex actually sure how this works. Normally I just knock people unconscious and Stockholm syndrome into joining us. This whole letting them join us if they want thing seems kind of just weird. Uh, at the same time, we've somehow managed to acquire a mega slot, which is fine. Our wolf seems to go and hunt its own food, which is actually kind of great. And you know what? We'll get that stuff out of the animal zone. Uh, at the same time, I think we sh it's about time we started recruiting some more animals. We're going to want some more alpacas for our journeys. Uh, we'll take all of you. Perfect. All right, let's see what the morning holds. Hopefully some of these will join us and we can uh, start expanding our numbers. We've got a lot of people to go. Would you look at that? 4 a.m. in the morning and Mal joins us. And guess which one Mal is? Yep, Mal's the one who likes to vomit everywhere. Welcome to the team, Mal. Very low expectation. Masochist in intense pain. Oh yeah, you're a masochist. Look at these for stats. We now have a constructor. Someone who can construct. Health-wise, I don't see any scars. You might actually be halfway decent, if a little bit vomitous. Intellectual of 13, crafting of 13, construction of 11. Okay, they're a masochist abrasive, but nobody's perfect. Can't do animals, plant, cooking, or cleaning. You know what? I hear you. That's fine by me. Welcome to the team. Uh, we need to get... Oh, we, do we want to waste the heavy fur? No, we don't want to waste the heavy fur because we could get other random or animal fur to make a bed. We do need to make them a bed. We can make them a wooden bed. Uh, no. Not a wooden bed just yet. Not until we find our stopping point. Uh, for now, they're sleeping on the floor. Let me think. I found a couple of Ibexes down here. They'll make a great bedroll. Oh, actually, I wonder if more of them join us. No, nope, no, nope, not going to worry if more of them join us just now. We're just, we're, we're going to plan for what we know is happening. Quick rule on the naming. We're not going to name a pawn until they've had one night's sleep in the colony. Because, you know, otherwise they might have a mental break. We end up accidentally punching them to death. So no one gets a name until they've had one night, good night's sleep. And, uh, you know, have a time to collect their morale bonuses before they accidentally get themselves murdered. We've managed to get Mal a new bed made out of plain leather. That's all good. And that also gives us a few extra meals, which was fine. We have a, a few extra mouths to feed at the moment. Mouths to feed at the moment, I should say, and yeah, they're not dead, like, and they're not leaving. Just you know, make up your minds. Maybe you're you've got the ability to move. Just go away. We don't want you anymore. Either join us or leave. All right. Uh, at the same time, I think it's time we got a few a uh, few other things sorted. Uh, despite just coming down here to do some. Oh wow. Yep, they're coming all the way down here to grab an alpaca at the very bottom corner of the map. Right, you know what? I'll let him. Hopefully they grab it. Uh, we also have a trade partner showing up in the exotic goods trader from the alliance of Din Dindos. Yeah, we're just going to call them Dindos. All right, let's see what they've got to trade. Eh, Trade-wise, we don't really have a lot of money with us. We could sell off the gold for 358, but even then, about the only thing here I'd want would be either the shock lance for recruitment or the insanity lance for protection. And I think we're better off saving it for more guns. All right, we'll just uh, we'll forget about them. All right, Mal, actually, we need to give you a gun. Do we have... What happened to the bolt-action rifle? And would you look at that? Marconi has joined us as well. Uh, Marconi, what's your stats? You are psychically hypersensitive and pretty. Can't do caring, social, or firefighting, but you'll be a crafter and a shooter. 
Oh, and you have level 8 cooking right out of the bat, even though you don't have a passion for it. You're actually a better cook than our current one. Uh, despite yours at 4. At 4, even despite all of their passion that cooking they've been doing. Though we have not had a single food poisoning so far, which, I don't know, that's got to be a record. Alright, so that means Marconi's with us. Damn it, we need to go get another bed. <sighs> right. Time to find some more animals to slaughter. So, due to some sloppy play on my part, uh, Jason got a few scratches there from a warg. I, it's just the wargs were close by, they have a good amount of leather. He ended up getting involved in an actual fisticuffs with it. Thankfully, he had the marine armour and it didn't take any of his fingers or toesies. Yeah, it, it's, it's too easy to lose fingers and toes in those sort of encounters. Yeah, Marconi's over here, but hopefully once we get the second warg, there's another warg over here. Once we've grabbed the second warg and added them to the pile, we should be good to get them a bed. And we'll see what Kenya decides to do. In fact, Kenya has her own weapon, whereas she's got a bio-coated incendiary launcher, which would be nice for corpse disposal, but that's about it. I sort of realised later we actually have a bunch of alpaca wool lying about the place. It's one of the joys of actually having alpacas. They give you lots of wool and we can make lots of bedrolls out of them. So, uh, it's been one full night's sleep, and now Mal and Marconi have actually survived the night. Though I think Marconi... No, their, their expectations are a little bit wonky, namely because they slept on the ground and ate without table. So this should almost sort them, should it? No, nope, still not going to be high enough. We'll, we'll maybe name them tomorrow, but Mal, though, we can give her a name now. For picking the names, I thought we'd go over this just the once. I'll do this in the background the rest of the time. But this is it. It's basically a web page that allows you to click to spin. And we've got all the names of everyone in here. Well, actually, it's more like a raffle. Everyone gets entries for the amount you donating. I didn't want to have it uh, being too odd, as in... Someone who's donating more than another person will have more entries. That way it sort of seems fair. So, it looks like it's Lee T. Doyle will be... Oh my god, that's going to be the name of the person with purple hair. Well, Lee, uh, welcome to the team. And there we go. Lee T. Doyle, uh, the Vomitus. Vomitus? You know what? I'm, I'm spelling that wrong, but I don't care. We'll, we'll get it anyway. Okay, perfect. Uh, Marconi will name tomorrow at some point. Well, Marconi survived the night, so they get their official name there now, Alex. Actually, you know what? I need to make a change here on all of these. There will be five, Alex. It's going to start getting really confusing as this gets along further, so <laughs> I'm going to give people numbers. Yep, we're already at that stage. J just because, otherwise it'll get later in the game and I'll be like, wait, where's that person that I hired at such and such a time? And yeah. All right, the only people who won't end up with numbers are probably the first three. Okay, I think we're just about good to leave this tile. Assuming Kenya makes up her mind. Either just, you know, get off the pot. Just, what are you doing? I don't want to stay here much longer. I think our plan will should be... Actually, oh, we're down to nine meals. I think our plan tomorrow morning, let's go a whole bunch of killing. Kill a whole bunch of animals, grab a whole bunch of meals and get ready to leave. If uh, Kenya can't make up her mind, we'll just abandon her here. I don't care anymore. Oh, we've got ourselves another sculpture finished at last. Uh, curve of Exhaustion? Uh, the sculpture shows a large group of bows. The image somehow expresses both lonesomeness and love. Well, we've, we've never had any bows. I don't think we've even seen a bow on this playthrough. Uh, let me put that over there. Yep, actually, what is the quality in that one? Two normals. Uh, that should help us out a bit. Uh, at the time being... Ooh, you know what? I think... Do we need any more marble? I don't want any more marble statues. That's, that's enough of that. That'll do. Room is somewhat impressive. Uh, Pika... Oh, no, yeah, you can't clean the place. All right, I think the next step is, yeah, getting out of here. We've been here way too long and I want to go to our final stop. One thing that's kind of impressing me is the Schweitzer. What the hell is that movement speed? 0 0.68. Wow, that is just... They've currently got food poisoning. Yeah, I jinxed myself by saying we hadn't had any yet. Their food poisoning slowed them down, but that's it. They've got a little bit of a leg scratch, but it's, you know, it's three hit points. It's a tiny reduction in efficiency. But the slowpoke, combined with the health effects, has reduced them to an absolute crawl. I don't think I've ever seen them. And okay, it's nighttime as well. But look at that movement speed. Let's put it to double arrows. Oh my god. That is... It's terrifying. People are eating dinners and the whole world is moving at high speed around them. Oh, Alex has gotten food poisoning from Simple Meal. Calls dirty cooking area. What are you talking about? The cooking area is spotless. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. What have they done? Nope, what are you doing? Has gone berserk. Will attack anyone he sees. Okay. No, do not shoot them with an auto shotgun. They're just going to attack a turkey. We're going to stay out of their way. They're going to attack a turkey very, very slowly. Actually, I think we'll change everyone from being aggressive to maybe uh, ignore? No, flee. There we go. They're never going to catch up with anyone and they're using a knife, so we'll be pretty safe. Oh, unless they go after Kenya. 
That could be awkward. Hopefully they kill the turkey. Nope. Nope. Wow. You you got your you got your ass dumped on by a turkey. <laughs> hey, turkey's gonna bleed out though, so you did you did okay. You did okay, buddy. <laughs> I better rescue them. Oh we we don't have any other doctors. Oh no wait. I think we have a new doctor in Lee. Yes, we do, with a medical of four. This this should be perfect. Uh, the next morning and our food poisoning situation has led to some rather uncomfortable problems. I believe Alex has food poisoning, uh, De Schweitzer has food poisoning, and G Ooh, Jason had food poisoning, but they recovered. Though I think they're still on a mental break. Yep, still on a mental break. It was the food poisoning that gave it to them. Uh, at the same time, we've also got a quest come up. It's the deserter quest. Uh, a demolitionist is going to call from nearby. She's deserted the Armory of the Blue Empire, haunted by a loyalty squad. She wishes to join you at Cute Megasloth. Uh, so we could hire them. Hmm. Do we kind of have to hire them? I'm not sure. Okay, but we would have to face three champions, three janissary, and one trooper. And at the moment, I don't think we're really in a fit state to do that. Uh, especially considering Alex is... Uh, well, they got bitten up, eaten up by a mega scarab there at one point, and the Schweitzer is a little bit under the weather, what with getting uh, mobbed by a turkey. But uh, I'll leave that up to the comments, actually. Should we take this quest? I mean, this is going to put us at odds with the Empire, and the problem with that is I don't really mind going at odds with the Empire, it's just that it's really going to slow us down. When the Empire attacks you, they hit you hard, and their troops are incredibly tough. I mean, heavy SMGs are not going to cut it. We're going to need charge rifles and a lot of close combat stuff. They're just... It would really slow down the playthrough if I if I start going into war with the Empire. Oh, I prefer not to. Maybe later it'd be okay to go with war with the Empire when we've got enough people that it's not a big deal. But right now, this would definitely put a crimp in our plans. But I think we've done pretty well for today. We've got our first, of, our first two new recruits. Uh, though, yeah, it, it's 26 days since we arrived, so it's a little bit slow. But I think... Oh, I'd really like if Kenya would join us. If you look at Kenya here... They've also got good construction. That would be amazing. They're also a good shooter right out of the bat. They've got crafting, medical, intellectual. It would just give us some... It would round out our composition because at the moment there's still a few too many things that are just all tied up in one pawn. As well as that, no one, like, no one is good at planting. We've got plants of two, plants of five, plants of one, no planting, plants of one. <laughs> like, just none of them. Even this new recruit over here, nothing. Nothing to do with planting. We have somehow managed to avoid all the planters. I mean, we don't really need it considering we're living entirely on a meat-based diet, but it would be nice. Just saying, Randy, just saying. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll leave us here with the, the little squad conquered down, and uh, I hope you enjoyed, and good luck. <laughs>